Hey, everybody. Today we're talking about some different ways to gener generate sequences of numbers in R. Of course, the most basic way to create a sequence of numbers is just with the concatenate command, C, and just to type things in directly. C12345 gives you the vector consisting of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, this gets very unwieldy very quickly um, if you need a longer vector, for instance. The first shortcut, shortcut you should know is the colon operator. 1 colon 5 gives you the integers from 1 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. More generally, the colon operator starts at the first value you give it and then goes in steps of size 1 until it gets to the top value you give it. These don't necessarily have to be integers. For instance, we could do 1.2 colon 5.2. You still get steps of size 1, but of course none of these are integers. It's also okay if the separation between these two values is not um, an integer, so 1.2 colon 5. What R will do here is it will start at the lower value, still go in steps of size 1, and then stop right before it gets to the top value. So that top value is never actually attained. R does not give you back a value bigger. Fantastic. A more general way of creating sequences in R is with the sequence function, SEQ. And I've pulled up the help file here on the right with question mark SEQ. Um, the syntax initially is not that different than the colon operator. You start with the first value you want, where you want the sequence to start, and then the value where you want it to stop. Now you have a choice of how to specify what sort of sequence to give between those two numbers. First of all, we can specify the step size explicitly with by equals. So let's go in steps of size 1 half. 1, 1 and a half, 2, all the way up to 5. Again, if the step size is such that when we start at the first value and go in those steps, we don't hit the top value exactly, um, that's okay. Here with a step size of 0.3, we get to 4.9 and then 5.2. Much as with the colon operator, R leaves out any value that comes after the upper limit. The other way that we can specify how to generate the vector, the numbers between 1 and 5, is with the length dot out command. And here we're explicitly saying how many values we want R to generate. So just to start, let's have R generate 10 values. In this case, the sequence is going to always start at the first value we've put in, in this case 1 and end at the top value we've put in, in this case 5. The last argument, length.out, just tells R exactly how many values to generate. So in this case, we get out a vector of length 10. Um, the last argument that is sometimes useful that I want to mention with the sequence command is the along with argument, which we could use to replace by or length out. So let's say we have some other vector, x, and um, let's just make it um, three, uh, let's have a, a vector of length three. The sequence command, let me get back to it here, ha, um, can be used with the along dot with argument, along with equals x, and what it will do then is to generate a sequence from one to five, so from the first um, parameter to the second, that has the same length as the vector x. So sometimes that's potentially useful as well. 